Welcome to the Goldmine YouTubers, I'm Lord Midas Productions. Today, I thought I'd take a break from the stop motion to make a video about something dear to me that no one will watch. <laughs> Gaming has always been one of my favorite hobbies, but more than that, it's been imagination fuel for my creativity. Today we'll be talking about my top 10 favorite of the many games I've played and what makes them so special. Still here? Then sit back, Midas touch that like button, and enjoy the video. Number 10, Godzilla Unleashed. Godzilla Unleashed is a fighting game involving, you guessed it, giant monsters from the Godzilla franchise. While it might not be the most complicated game out there, its large character roster, over-the-top mayhem, and variety of modes and customization make it a blast for any Godzilla fan. I have so many fun memories of when me and my friend would rush to the Wii, set movement speed on max, and try to beat the kaiju brains out of each other. If you're a Godzilla fan who has a Wii put up, you gotta give a Godzilla Unleashed a try. No one can tame a Balrog. Number 9, Shadow of War. Shadow of War is an open world, army building, stealth, fighting RPG. If that lengthy summary alone wasn't enough to tell you how many things there are in this game, allow me to shed some light. Playing as Wraith Possessed Talion, you must use an enormous array of supernatural powers and awesome combat skills to fight and build an army from orcs who remember and react to every movement you make. Whether through sabotage, a network of spies, or outright confrontation, cripple enemy fortresses, and large-scale battles as you progress through a story full of lore and surprises. Be careful though, one wrong move and you might meet an angry orc who remembers the scar you gave him, or be betrayed by one of your own soldiers. It can be a bit overwhelming at times, but don't let the microtransaction trolls fool you. Its large array of missions, powers, and networks only strengthen the fact that it's such a large, wonderful game. Number 8, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. While it pales in comparison to games such as Shadow of War or Monster Hunter as far as gameplay quality, its mind-boggling amount of side quests and jaw-droppingly enormous world turned this simple RPG into a sandbox filled with countless hours with a surprising amount of satisfaction. Whether you're a warrior, mage, thief, entrepreneur, or werewolf, there's always something to explore, something to craft, and something to fight in what's considered one of the greatest games of all time, and rightfully so. Number 7, Skylanders Imaginators. While constantly hounded as a cash grab for kids, this astounding game proves once again the fun to be had in the world of Skylands. Featuring hundreds of colorful characters, fun, detailed worlds, and possibly the best character creation system I've ever seen in a video game, Imaginators might be the best Skylanders game to date. Whether fighting Doomlanders and Chaos's army, racing your friends and crazy vehicles and tracks, finding secrets and solving puzzles, or just spending hours creating the perfect character from hundreds of parts and colors, Imaginators will spark the imagination of any aged gamer. And to see these two characters fighting side by side was icing on the cake. Number 6, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I dreamed of getting a Wii just to play this game, and man was the wait worth it. An enormous array of characters, countless modes, and the craziest yet most skilled fighting of all the fighting games I've ever played, Super Smash Bros. Brawl will fill you with laughter as you try to knock your friends over the horizon. And adding Snake, Nintendo, you read my mind. Number 5, Legend of Spyro Dawn of the Dragon. Dawn of the Dragon brings the darker, powerful story of Spyro the Dragon to new levels of fantasy and action. Take to the skies at any time and engage Unicron rivaling enemies in planet shaking battles as Spyro and Cinder face the Dark Master and their own dark past. Featuring a cast of voice actors that a Hollywood director would kill for, characters with strength and personality, explosive action that would make God of War proud, and a deep story that fuels my imagination to this day, Legend of Spyro will always have a special place in my gaming mind.
Number 4, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I never thought Zelda games looked any good and boy was I wrong. Out of all the Zelda games I've played, Twilight Princess is by far my favorite. Solve puzzles and explore eerie worlds as you seek to free the world from a growing twilight, complete with dungeons that will test your minds and demonic enemies that will test your skills. With a story filled with mystery, twists, and emotion, Twilight Princess is a must for any who own a Wii. Number 3, Monster Hunter World. I fell in love with Monster Hunter 3, and I fell head over heels in love with Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. I was a fan for life, enjoying my monster hunting days with over the top weapons, monsters, and armors. I wasn't originally going to buy a PS4, but the eye popping trailer of Monster Hunter World changed that. Yes, I owe all my PS4 games to Monster Hunter World. But to beat my beloved image through you, this game had a huge bar to jump. Its beautiful, intricate worlds and perfect, yes, perfect, gameplay stood neck and neck with mh 3 u I got lost in hundreds of hours of epic battles and grinding for ridiculous gear. I don't have online play, but I will in a couple of months. If the amazing DLC trailers are any indication, Monster Hunter World looks like it may soar over the bar. If you own a PS4, get this game. Now. If you don't own a PS4, get one. Now. You can thank me later. Number 2. Crash Bandicoot Warped. Wow, wow, wow. Let me start by saying wow. Crash Bandicoot is a platforming game with everything you could ask from a platformer. Awesome worlds, brilliant level design, and hilarious thrills. Spin, jump, kick, swim, fly, drive, and shoot your way through 35 crazy levels. Test your platforming skills and drive yourself mad trying to break every crate or reach the end as fast as you can. Warped was one of my first games ever, and Crash has been my second favorite video game series of all time. To see all of it in HD thanks to Activision's insane trilogy was too much for my brain. I'm going crazy. I'm going bonkers. I'm going... Number 1, Spyro Year of the Dragon. <sighs> okay guys, where the heck do I begin? I had played a few games before, but this was the first game that I loved. I mean, from here on out, I became an actual gamer. I drew Spyro, I played pretend Spyro, I talked about Spyro. This game was what put my creativity into media. It had everything. Run, jump, charge, flame, glide, skateboard, swim, blast, climb, and fly through large, beautiful, fun-themed, and genius design levels with secrets and collectibles that put Zelda to shame. So much variety and fun to be had that I couldn't put it into a single video. This is, in my opinion, the best game to ever grace the earth. And they're remastering it? Guys, I dreamed, literally dreamed of this. Seriously, dreaming of a remaster to wake up disappointed. I couldn't, still don't, believe they're remaking it. It'll still surprise me when I suddenly remember. I cannot wait for this, guys. I cannot wait. And that about does it for today, Gold Miners. Be sure to drop a like and share this with any gaming friends of yours, but most importantly, tell me your opinions in the comments below. What's your 10 favorite games? Have you ever played any of these games and would like to speak your mind? Why am I still watching this video? Feel free to ask away, YouTubers. Hope you enjoyed the vid and have a nice day. God bless.